Hello everyone and welcome to another review. Today we're going to go ahead and review a fragrance that was released in the year 2009. The fragrance is from the house of Nikolai. The fragrance we're going to touch upon today is called Patchouli Intense. Now Patchouli Intense is from a house that I've actually never heard of uh, until a couple weeks ago when I started to uh, kind of compile this review. I've been doing a lot of, you know, just jumping out into different houses this summer and viewing stuff that, uh, you know, viewing, smelling stuff that I have just never heard of. And I wanted to really expand my repertoire to kind of get out of some of the more mainstream houses and that's where I got this one from. And I have to say, I was really pleasantly surprised for what I found. Now, the fragrance is available in two main sizes. It's available in a 100 milliliter for $175 and a 30 milliliter for $62. I really love that price way, especially when you start to get to these more powerful fragrances. I wish more niche houses would, um, you know, offer fragrances that are in like the 30 milliliter range for sub $100. That would really make it easier and um, I guess better for me to swallow, if you will. So I, you know, I'm a big proponent of fragrances that kind of come, you know, fall into that range. Anyways. Diversion, I digress. Let's get on to the actual scent, right? Now, the scent, as the name implies, this is a powerful patchouli scent, despite the notes that you see on the screen. Now, patchouli is definitely the main note that really sticks out here. The other things to keep in mind with this scent are, first, this really comes off, the patchouli comes off as dry and woody, and it really kind of amps up that dryness and that woodiness in the actual scent. Now, I noticed some people who, uh, you know, got a chance to review this fragrance and got a chance to see this fragrance, and one of the things that they mentioned was that, um, that there was another particular note that, that they got, lavender. I did not get lavender in this. Maybe I'm just smelling it wrong, or maybe I'm just smelling it different. I did not get lavender in this, and it's listed as one of the notes. But what I did get was I got this orangey smell that kind of came to it, along with this vanilla smell, uh, and along with this, you know, that dry, that woody smell. The dry in the woods really take prominent, and the orange and the vanilla kind of feels like it's just kind of lingering on top of that uh, actual scent. So, very, uh, you know, very prominent uh, patchouli note in this one. Now, the patchouli, very, very powerful. The note and the fragrance itself is very powerful. This is a beast mode fragrance, and by beast mode, I mean it's going to last on your skin over 12 hours easily. Please, 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 this is my big warning, do not be fooled if you apply this one and it feels like it's smelling moderate. This gains strength on your skin as time goes on. So after about two hours, man, it is bumping, and it is just projecting and going out there. So. If you spray it on, that's why I'm recommending two sprays maximum with this, because this one will gain power, and you might choke some people out if you're not careful. So it's definitely got that going for it, which is a really nice and a really pleasant thing. Uh, I think this is a great fragrance for the winter months. It's one that kind of lasts in those winter months and has that ability. It's a good fragrance for the fall as well, too, but I tend to think that this is better for winter just because of that power. So by winter, people I'm talking about, you know, under... 40 degrees, basically, 40 degrees Fahrenheit, and that's that's my winter, if you will. So when it's cold, go ahead and reach for this one. It's going to do wonders. Age group-wise, I think this is a good fragrance for older older gentlemen, older people, um, younger generation, younger people might not get this one as well. Uh, it's a great outdoors fragrance. It's a great fragrance that you can wear, you know, in those primary outdoor situations. Uh, maybe even a nighttime fragrance, but I tend to think that if you're in the company of people. This is one that can swing either way. You're either going to really love this one or you're going to really hate it. If you really don't like patchouli, man, you're going to hate this fragrance. So I would caution it because I've come across a good amount of people who do not like patchouli. So that's why I would not recommend it for going out and, you know, hanging out with people. This is an aggressive fragrance. It's very bold. It's very aggressive. Compliment-wise, I did not get any compliments with this one, and I did get mixed reactions when people smelled it. Some said it was eh, some said it was eh, you know, they were just all over the place in terms of, uh, there weren't many people who absolutely loved it though, so that's just one thing to keep in mind. So I'm going to go ahead and give this fragrance a rating. I give this fragrance a rating a 7 out of 10. Now, I know some people will be up in arms, hey Cody, you just explained some of this stuff, let me explain why I'm giving it a 7 out of 10. First. This is a unique fragrance. I think that it's unique enough that it paved its kind of own way, if you will. It is no slouch in the longevity department. 
this longevity and this performance is off the charts. So if this comes across as something that you're going to like, you're going to really love this and love the performance in it. And it does what it does really well, patchouli. It does patchouli extremely well. And for the price tag, especially for that 30 milliliter, I think it is well worth that price tag and you're getting a steal uh, for that price tag. But why I'm knocking it down, why it doesn't get higher than a 7 out of 10, first thing is that it's a, it's a really aggressive fragrance. This is one that you definitely, it's, it almost more feels like art than it does a fragrance that you would actually wear. You can still definitely wear it, but it's very hyper aggressive, if you will. Uh, two, it's not, um, it's not something that is for everyone. And for that, it makes it a little bit more difficult to wear when you're around people and when you're trying to appease people. So, yeah. So that's where I kind of leave it off with that. All right? So that's pretty much it. Let me know what your thoughts are on. And if you've ever got a chance to smell this, leave a note down below. I'd love to hear your opinions on it. All right? Thank you, guys. Take care of your health.